2023 was a, a big year for me. A lot of good results with uh, one of the best results uh, of my life. I've been entering in the top 30 in the world for the first time. And then uh, I get injured. I broke the tendon in the stirrups. I had a few months without riding. With this time, I had a, a lot of reflection about myself, where I want to go with, with my horses, with my opinion from the sport and my vision from, from my life. And I decided to, to stop with my last uh, sponsor. This was a big decision for me. I start riding with my parents and my father was my uh, trainer since the beginning and to restart with him with new horses to have a new, uh, new life uh, at home is something uh, that I appreciate. I, I can feel that all my family is around and they are all behind me and to, to be there in the good and the bad moments. Together we can really have good achievements and to, to reach the top. What do you think um, for this weekend? Uh, my plan is to jump the first day, then on Thursday with the three horses. Yeah. I think with uh, PSG Starlight to do the 140 class, mm -hmm. then the 145 with uh, Hermindo, and then the 150 class with uh, Quintino. And then yeah. we see if I'm doing the World Cup qualify on uh, Friday with uh, Quintino yeah. or not. It's going to be okay. Good. I think we just need some time to get the get in well together because they know their job yeah. and we just need that. I think they have more experience. <laughs> <laughs> they have more experience than you, maybe, probably. Probably, they know the stuff. Good. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is Quintino. This was a, really, a lot of experience. Uh, he was part of the Argentine team for the uh, Olympic game in Tokyo and also for the World Equestrian game uh, with uh, Matthias Larocca. And uh, now he's uh, for Switzerland. <laughs> now he's with me. But he's really, he has the experience, he has everything. The only thing is that we need some time to, to get in well together. I'm really happy to have uh, such a good horse in, in my team. And uh, now uh, just a question of time to, to be back at the, the good stage. Here in Basel, it's uh, my uh, first big show since uh, five months now. Then it's uh, really a big difference compared to the other two or three star show. It's really the, the most prestigious uh, series uh, in the world. The World Cup series is, is still a dream for me and uh, I won already two uh, World Cup legs and uh, I want to continue and to keep pushing to be uh, in front. All the week we saw uh, difficult classes, not a lot of uh, clear round in a big class. On the Thursday, the, the 150 class, I had one done with Quintino. It was the, the first time I jumped uh, such a class uh, with him and I said, okay, the, the feelings are there. I, I get to know him a bit more and maybe I have a chance on Sunday. Friday, the, the Grand Prix was a difficult course, technical, but uh, we saw beautiful sport as well. I was just happy to be, be back there in Basel and I had uh, no pressure. Uh, for sure, I'm always pushing me to, be, to do my best and to, to try to be in front, but I was just like enjoying the moment, try to do my best, try to qualify for the World Cup uh, with uh, Quintino. And I had the three down in the qualification. And I, my plan changed a bit because uh, I saw that I was not ready as I might to, to jump the World Cup on Sunday, but the feeling was there and I was happy to be back on the saddle and to feel good with my body after the injuries and to, to have back uh, such good horses as these three days. Welcome to the London FEI Jumping World Cup this weekend. And the scene is set here in Basel for the 10th of the 14 legs of the Western European League of the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup. 
I walked the course. Uh, I thought it was uh, high enough. It was a bit more space between the jump as on Friday, I think. And uh, for the horse, I think it's better that they can breathe between the jump. It was quite a, a long course. For sure, <laughs> I was there like I want to ride, but uh, I need to calm down. Peter Devos for Belgium. The world number 44 rides Mom's Tupi de la Roque. Plenty of time. And that is another brilliant round from Peter Devos. To be ready for such a World Cup, uh, you need uh, really good horses. You need uh, a horse that are competitive, uh, careful, and that he like this kind of atmosphere because they can come into the ring like a lion and they want to fight uh, for the victory. And just the last, will this be a clear for Austria? What a super round. What a team of horses this man has got. The perfect round. Clear number six for Austria. Max Kuna, EIC, Cooley, jump the queue, goes in to the jump off. A big cheer for Yannicka Sprunger for Switzerland. And that was as perfect as you'll ever see down that combination. I was uh, happy to see uh, my, uh, my uh, teammate uh, doing uh, well uh, today. Yannicka did uh, a really good job. Oh, it's still there. Just the last to go. Plenty of time. 76 seconds, time allowed. Up and over. This could be popular. Leave it to the ladies. They can do it. That was a brilliant clear. Switzerland go in to the jump off. To win a World Cup is really something special uh, and unbelievable feeling. We live for this kind of moment in our sport. We live to, to be in front of such a crowd and to feel the horse uh, really with us for such a big moment. Welcome back to the second of the two rounds of the Western European League here in Basel. The Jump off had uh, eight jumps and it's quite um, many for a jump off and technical enough we see with this S in the middle with the turn to the wall and uh, I think uh, that's what we want to see in the jump off, a uh, tight turn and to see the horse uh, galloping uh, faster and uh, we saw a beautiful sport and uh, Peter Devos uh, take his chance and he was uh, he pushed till the end to jump the, Longin, the last uh, Longines fences. Now the turn to the wall, looking at the footprints in the sand. He's followed the same route. A rattle there, still clear. Chases down to the last, takes a long one. And that is a brilliant clear for Belgium, for Peter Devos. He's clear in 36.94. Into the lead, Peter Devos, Mums to be De La Roque for Belgium. Max Kuna with the 11 year old girl in EIC, Cooley jump the queue. Oh, scope, 11 seconds landing over that, up on the clock. The shortest route to the wall that anyone's taken, we can see that from the, from the footprints. Now down to the double, 36.94, the red's gone. Peter Devos holds on to the lead, but Max Kuna stops the clock in a very quick time of 35.59 and goes into second place, Max Kuna. Yannick Esprunger for Switzerland with Aurelie. Uh, Yannicka did a really good round. I'm really happy for her because she she bring uh, Aurelie, uh, her mare, really uh, at the good point, at the good moment, and today she ride uh, really good. And uh, I think she's really a good rider and we will see uh, the couple in a few months. 36.94. This could be quite something. Increases the pace. Just 10 years old, Orly. She's going to have to go some now through the double. She's not going to make the 36.94, but she, if she's clear, she goes into second place. And she rubs the last, but she is clear. Goes into second place. Yannicka Springer, double clear. Peter Devos for Belgium. 
takes the title here in Basel, the Longines FEI Jumping World Cup qualify. It's, it's something really special to win a World Cup. Uh, everyone tries, uh, we see legs all around the world and already to be there in front of such a crowd like here in Basel is something different as all the other five star shows and I think everyone want, want to be there and want to be ready to win a World Cup and uh, hopefully I will win the next one uh, in a few months.